Okay, CVS dumpster. Oh, nature Valley bars. Oh my god. Facial cleanser. Pepto Bismol. Y'all. Diapers. Diapers. Jesus Christ. This is all from that one CVS dumpster. Oh, body mist. It's missing the top, but it's completely full, so I'll take it. Oh, another one. Oh my god. A, char a charger still in the box. Holy. Oh god. I almost dropped it. Sorry. Got too excited. This expires in 2026. For reference, it's 2024. And this is a whole bag of Reese's iced coffee. So it's past the best buy day, so I can't take it to donate it. And I don't drink coffee, so yeah. Empty. Whoa, a whole bunch of Lunchables. Oh. Oh. Dang, I really wish there was toothpaste in this. I need toothpaste. Damn. That actually broke my heart. <laughs> oh, okay, this makes up for Okay, still empty. Never mind. Got excited again. I gotta stop getting excited. Broken. Oh. Oh, yeah, there's a crack right here. Well, this is scraped up, but I don't need a bowl. <gasps> oh my god! The toothpaste! The toothpaste! Oh my god. Yay! <laughs> broken. They're always broken whenever I find these. Oh, a little shopping cart. Glasses. Headband. Birthday uh, bag. I don't know what this is. Oh, a shower cap. A kid's puzzle, flashlight, a light of heaven, uh, this thing, lotion. Hey, that's awesome. Got a good amount of stuff. Goodwill dumpster. And it looks like someone publicly dumped. Great. Okay, Aldi dumpster. Is he a pineapple? Oh. It's just the top. Whoa. <laughs> An apple pie. So this is supposed to be a Dee Dee's discount dumpster, but it's full of public dumping. But I see this little like kids toy back here. So I'm going to see if I can try to get it. It's this little radio flyer uh, bicycle. It seems to work. Walgreens dumpster. I see a bag that might have food in it. Yup. It's heavy. This Walgreens always has stuff. This is crazy. Alright, let's see what's in this Walgreens grab bag. Nice. Nice. Alright, I'm gonna go through all of this and then I'll show y'all everything at the end. So I guess this Walgreens decided to get rid of most of their granola and protein bar inventory, plus this random pack of hot dog buns. So most of this is gonna go to my local blessing box. From that CVS dumpster, I got pads, baby wipes, three packs of them, cough drops, caramel K-cups, chips, Twizzlers, Snickers, Nature Valley bars, cookies, Kind bars, sweet tarts, gummies, toothbrushes. So I know it's always obnoxious when they throw stuff like this out because it's not even food. It will never expire. People will always have a use for toothbrushes. But anyway, got melatonin, medicine. I couldn't find the top to this bottle in the bag, but the plastic seal is still on it. So I'm gonna just use them. A charger that's actually still in the box. Cleanser, Pepto-Abysmal, foundation that honestly kind of looks like my color. 
a little i don't know uh gum celsius and this really cute letter to santa kit so it has stickers markers crayons and like paper for a kid to write a letter to santa see i wasn't joking when i said i need a new toothpaste look at this and shout out to dumpster diving because i got this facial cleanser and moisturizer for free from a cvs dumpster and now i got this new tube of toothpaste from a dollar tree dumpster nice In addition to donating things I find while dumpster diving to free little pantries, aka blessing boxes, I also make blessing bags for people who are homeless. So everything you see here, including the bags I'm putting the stuff in, was found brand new in dumpsters. Socks are a much needed donation because homeless people's socks degrade much faster since they have to constantly be on the move. Also, they may only have one pair of socks, so that means they don't have another pair to switch out of. So I always keep a blessing bag or two in my purse in case I see someone who may want one. And I also make blessing bags with menstrual products. As a lot of you may know, menstrual products are very expensive and can't be bought with SNAP benefits. So it makes me extra mad that these stores just throw them out instead of donating them. I hope to one day find menstrual cups because those are reusable and take up less space. People who are homeless have to be careful with how much they have since, like I said before, they're constantly on the move. They have to essentially keep everything they own on them at all times. So the more they carry, the more physically taxing it is on them. It's just something to keep in mind if you plan on giving out blessing bags. Thank you for watching and please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to my channel. See you in the next one.